Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday prep day. I am heading out the door to do my grocery shopping. I did not get it done yesterday, so I have a little bit of a late start today. I still have a little bit of work I have to do on my home job. For those of you who don't know, I do work full-time outside the home Monday through Friday. I also have a part-time home business in addition to this channel. So I'm trying to fit everything in. So I'm out the door to do my grocery shopping. When I get back, I will show you what I got. And later on, I will do my big prep and I'll have that on here as well. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so this is my Publix grocery haul. Uh, normally, I like to pick up most of my stuff at Aldi, but there's some things that they don't sell or brands, certain brands that I like. So I also shop at Publix. So we are going to have steak tonight. So we're going to use the top sirloin filet. We try not to eat red meat a whole lot, uh, just because we're trying to watch our cholesterol, things like that. Uh, but the top sirloin is really good, and that's more one of the leaner meats. And then I have the pork tenderloin for the night that we have the pork tenderloin with um, carrots and potatoes. I picked up some turkey breast. I usually get the deli turkey breast from Publix, but this kind is really good, and that is zero point turkey breast. And then I picked up some reduced fat provolone cheese, uh, some Cabot Sharp 50% less fat. That's really good. I use that in recipes. And then I picked up some full fat extra sharp cheddar. My husband likes to have a little bit of full fat cheddar at night. And then I picked up feta crumbles, fat free tomato and basil. I will use that on the feta and herb crusted salmon. And then I picked up some Greek yogurt, strawberry, strawberry cheesecake, and Boston cream pie. We'll use those for snacks or maybe even breakfast one day. Sometimes my husband will just have a yogurt for breakfast. And then the faye. Did y'all know it's called faye? I used to say fag, but it says it's pronounced faye. Go figure. I didn't know that. Uh, I picked that up for the two ingredient dough. I'm hoping to be able to make strombolis uh, sometime this weekend. We'll see if I get to it or not. And um, if not, maybe I'll do bagels or something. And then I picked up some A1 sauce because it was BOGO. And then some peanut butter and chicken breast. This was BOGO, so I just picked it up. Probably just use it. Maybe sometimes it's good to just throw it in a salad or something. The Snack Factory Pretzel Crisps, uh, which are my absolute favorite. I like these with Laughing Cow Cheese. It is a four point snack for the one serving of the pretzels, which I think is 28 grams. Yeah, 28 grams. Uh, and then one, one Laughing Cow Cheese. That is super good. I have that at nighttime sometimes. And then I picked up some broccoli florets. And look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh, this corn looked so good, so I thought it would go great with steak tonight. And I used to roll my corn and butter, but now I've been just using the spray butter and it tastes just as good. Uh, another thing I used to do is whenever I would make corn on the cob, I would put sugar in the water to sweeten up the corn. But since I am back on WW, I don't do that anymore. But we live in the South, so the corn's usually pretty sweet. And then, yay, I found the Premier Protein Caramel Flavor. My local Publix had it, and I am going to take people's advice and try this in my coffee as creamer. I hear it makes it taste like a caramel cappuccino, so I'm super excited to try that. And then I picked up some Chex Mix. That's my husband's favorite nighttime snack. I picked up some caffeine-free Diet Coke. I try not to drink soda too often, but I do like to have me a Diet Coke every once in a while, especially if I'm having strombolis or there's just some things that I have to have soda with, strombolis and tacos. I don't know why. Or pe any pizza and tacos. And then my husband's beer, of course. We can't forget that. That's important. So that is my Publix grocery haul, and I will, after I go to... Aldi, I will load that one up as well. Here's what I got from Aldi. I picked up some chicken breasts. I went ahead and got two of those, and I'm going to be using those for the chicken salsa, crock pot chicken salsa. I picked up tilapia fillets for the tilapia fish cakes for Friday, and then salmon for our Monday night salmon. 
I picked up the Appleton Farm Center Cut Bacon that I first heard of from Joan at Joan's Pointed Plate. That is really good bacon. So thank you, Joan. That is um, four slices for two points. I picked up some fresh ground turkey. That will be for my turkey burrito skillet. Um, I'm going to have to count points on that one because they did not have ground turkey breast. So as everybody knows, only the ground turkey breast is zero points. So this one will have points in it. And then taco seasoning, red enchilada sauce. This is all for the burrito skillet. I picked up some uh, tuna. We usually like the albacore tuna, but they didn't have that. So I just picked that up. Sometimes we'll have that for a sandwich. Picked up some adobe, adobo seasoning. I ended up picking up some turkey gravy. Um, sometimes I make my own gravy for the night that we have the pork tenderloin. Um, but I scanned that gravy and it only comes out to one point for a quarter of a cup. And we just drizzled the gravy over that meal anyway. So I went ahead and picked that up. I got turkey pepperoni because I am going to probably be doing strombolis next Saturday. And then this is the rice that I've been using. It's just that 90 cent, 90 cent. It's just that 90 second rice that goes in the microwave. This one's long grain and wild. And then there's also chicken, uh, but I really like that. And then I got for the salsa chicken, I got some black beans and some can um, great northern beans. Picked up diced tomatoes just because I usually use those in something. Corn for the chicken salsa. And then I picked up some whole potatoes. I usually cut those up and put them into our breakfast burritos. I then got the Aldi brand baby Brussels sprouts. These are so good. These are real small. I don't like the real big Brussels sprouts, but these ones are small. Love those. I picked up some um, artisan lettuce for my salad on probably Thursday. I picked up some zucchini that is also for the turkey burrito skillet. Some scallions, green onions, asparagus for to go the night we have salmon. Got some Roma tomatoes. I usually get the beefsteak tomatoes, but they um, they're kind of squishy, so I didn't get those. I got bananas, which I'm gonna have to let ripen just a little bit. Lemons for, I do lemons for recipes and also for my lemon water. I picked up, they had blackberries on sale for 99 cents. So I picked up two of those. I'll put some of those in the overnight oats as well as banana, strawberries, and blueberries. I'll also put in there. And then I'll use the rest for fruit bowls for the week. Oh, an avocado for the salsa chicken. I picked up some heart skin mozzarella and reduced fat cheddar cheese. I usually like to buy the real mozzarella that's in the big block, but um, they didn't have that. They had it, but not the part skim, so I didn't get that. I got some light sour cream for the uh, turkey burrito skillet, some light butter, a can of mushrooms that I'll probably use when, we, when I do Stromboli Saturday. I got flounder. We've been having cod a lot, so I'm going to change it up for fish fry and do flounder. Just a regular head of regular lettuce. The 40 calorie bread, that is two points for two slices. The Ole Extreme Wellness Wraps. We'll use these for burritos or for turkey wraps. Those are one point each. And then I picked up some sweet relish that I use for uh, tartar sauce for fish night. I picked up some more olive oil, some peanuts. My husband loves these peanuts, so I picked those up. And then this is the Splenda. It's a generic version of Splenda, the Aldi brand that I use for my coffee. And I picked up two dozen eggs for our burritos. And my Aldi find for the week is this little rubber spatula. It has all the uh, measurements on it, which I thought was pretty cool. So I pretty much know some of them in my head, but sometimes I second guess myself and I have to quick Google it and look it up. So I thought that would be cool to have that right there. So that is my Aldi find for the week. So that is my Aldi grocery haul. So that is what I got this week at Publix and Aldi. 
uh, I am going to get everything put away and, and get everything ready to start my prep and I will talk to everyone soon. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the notification bell. That will alert you anytime I add new content. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. I am Christy and I am planning us healthy.